Hello, and welcome back for more Explore Tulsa. Do you know, Trish, that February 9th marked the beginning of the year of the monkey on the Chinese calendar? How cool is that? Yeah, I'm willing to bet you were uh, born during the year of a monkey. Actually, I was the year of the ox. Oxes are people who achieve great success through consistent efforts with great importance on family and work. You're an ox. Better than being a goat like you, I licked it up. Would that make you a nag? Why don't we just stop in at the Promenade Mall and take in all the great Asian traditions at the Asian Antiques Association. This is the only place that I know in Tulsa that have Asian culture. The store is owned by a man named Johnny Lee. Uh, he is a uh, from China. He loves art and just loves the, the history behind a lot of the Chinese art. I, I came here to learn American culture and uh, I also want to bring the Asian culture to Americans and to know that, oh, we have so much cool stuff and we have a long story to tell you. Uh, we do carry art from all over the world. Uh, we do are primarily um, of like the, the China and Asian descents, uh, like Japan. We have quite a few from Japan and Taiwan. Um, well, you, you see a lot of the chopsticks. Uh, we do have quite a few different style chopsticks, uh, more of your traditional style and uh, more actual elegant chopsticks that you don't see as much. Uh, tea sets, which everybody loves some tea sets uh, because tea is a big thing worldwide. So most of the things that like on the wall, the paintings are from China. And, and these seatings and the parts are those parts on that wall is uh, recreation from the high museums in China. Uh, the ship used to be in uh, the museum and uh, it's made of bone. Uh, it's a beautiful giant ship. You know, it's uh, more uh, showing of like a king's ship, you know, show what they went on. Um, we have some really neat actual historical pieces. Uh, we have a uh, it was a door for a, um, a garden at a temple in China uh, that has been turned into a table, uh, but it's over a hundred years old. And I just love that, you know, it's very nice wood, very great uh, art style. And it's, you know, it was able to be brought over to the United States to show everybody, you know, even the littlest details that, you know, it was just a door to go into a, a or outside, you know, it's, it's still so well made. The two dresses in the front door, they are uh, actually wedding dress, and we got that from the museum that was closed in here. It's called a uh, Richardson Art Museum. Uh, one of them was actually uh, said to have been owned by a uh, princess um, over in Japan, and just beautiful dress. We have two really big uh, signs on the wall uh, that were actually just happy birthday signs uh, to a somebody from their town saying happy birthday and long life, uh, which is just something crazy, you know, to see a whole town come together to just to make them a sign to put in front of their house that says, you know, we like this guy. Uh, most of the people that come in here are amazed that something like this actually opened here in Tulsa. Um, they're great that there's actually an art store and something that has like this kind of things. Uh, you know, people of all cultures and, and uh, races, they just love it. They love that uh, something like this could be open. We, we uh, cater to a lot of different kinds of people. We have cultures from all over the United States just here in Tulsa. It's one of the biggest areas just for culture. Uh, it brings more joy to me to see some little kid uh, looking at the artwork and me get to tell him what it actually means. Kind of like at a museum, you know, that will tell you the stories behind them. We've had schools come in and actually give them tours and talk to them about the whole culture itself. Eventually he would like to open a museum uh, of some sort to show about more of the Asian arts. Uh, but right now he's settling for a store and to, to let people, you know, get to take some of this art, art home with them and, and kind of have some of the culture for themselves. It just feels like we've we've done so much and that I hope that more and more people get to see it, you know. And I know Tosa is growing uh, more and more immigration in here and a lot of Asian uh, children in here, they don't know much about Asian culture. And uh, if they have like a store in here like, like, like this, uh, then they would learn much more about Chinese culture and they would feel like uh, this is my culture. You know, we're here to, to help the community as much as we can. 
and it really gives us joy when we see the smiles of people that love to see it.